Good morning, folks. We've got increasing solar activity, which you can probably see here. We've got a different warning for the United States than yesterday and Tier 1 science updates starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com. While solar flaring and solar wind and geomagnetic conditions remain calm, the limbs are heavy with eruptive behavior. Much of it is the release of plasma filaments. Even without significant X-ray production at this time, we are going to need to carefully monitor those incoming regions for more CMEs. Meanwhile, the U.S. West Coast is under assault right now. It's going to get worse over the next day and a half or so. Pure, classic atmospheric river. Major flooding and landslides are a concern here and throughout the heavy season, which should be bringing another one right behind this one. Quick note on the Palma, where seismic activity hit magnitude 4.8 a few days ago. It has descended back a bit since then. We are hoping that is the peak of activity in this entire sequence. Now we're starting the articles, strengthening the geomagnetic control over the thermosphere. We've seen it multiple times just the last month. We've seen the lack of chemical forcing from below in that layer as well. Here, we've got more of the wind forcing, especially during enhanced geomagnetic activity. Folks, if any of you remember our argument for polar summer mesospheric echoes being driven geomagnetically as well, this paper comes right out and basically eliminates the need for me to connect those dots previously connected. They just put it in a paper all their own. Crystal ball to floodgates opening is that Heinrich Dio event connection. The first excellent expression of the major destabilization connection was not the only one published October 14th. Thanks to our NASA geophysicist friends for telling us this one also came out that day in AGU's G3 journal. It's another excellent connection here and some more details on the Dio Heinrich trigger. And last but not least, it may not go into physical print for two months, but it's online early now. The field seems to have woken up, didn't they? The 6,000-year major cold and flood or drought event, the half-cycle of the major catastrophe, is triggered by too much warming. And presuming you remember yesterday's news, that picture should be crystal clear at this moment. We greatly appreciate your support. If it's not clear, try the disaster playlist below the video. We also have a book on these long catastrophe cycles, which you guys seem to like as much as our solar forcing textbook. Get them both at otf.cells.com. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.